Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those who haven't been here before, my name's Anna and this is Lila and we are more like. So today, we're not quite van life. Today we're doing something completely different and um, going on a horse and carriage ride through Widdicombe. It's called the Real Ale Trail, I think we're doing. And we're doing it as a belated Father's Day um, gift and surprise for, for my husband. But the gift was given to my dad instead of my mum, which was a surprise. Oh yeah. Widdicombe in the Moor is a village on Dartmoor in Devon, about a 10 minute drive from us. Um, it's well known for the church there, which is known as the Cathedral of the Moors, and for the fair that used to be yearly, pre-Covid. And there's a famous song about it too. For those who have watched our vlogs before, you know there's some strange ghost stories surrounding Widdicombe. And as we drove up to the watching place, which is supposedly haunted, we drove into some sort of smoke or fog, still not sure what it was. So any ideas, please comment down below. Is it mist or is it smoke? Oh, yeah. That's it, building up. It's a fire. That's right, drive into the fire. <gasps> right by the watching place. That really was weird. That really, really was weird. When we went through it, could you feel the coldness then? Yeah. My, my legs, my legs. Do it again, do it again. Right. It's got to be a bonfire or something. It's not, you can't smell it. It doesn't smell like smoke. It does. <laughs> I don't think it does. You can see it. It's just like rolling mist or... No, that's smoke. It's definitely not smoke. It doesn't even move in the same way as smoke does. Mist doesn't move like that. Why is it Look at going across the field. Keep the window open, Lila. We survived our strange encounter. Pretty sure it was mist, although living on the moors for 20 years, I'm not sure I've ever seen it condensed in one spot like that. Um, but as we drive into Widdicombe, it's very, very misty, so it makes sense for it to be mist. They're escaping. <laughs> oh, that one's only half sheared. Yeah. I think it's going back there. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> oh, don't look at it. We arrived on time but there was no sign of our carriage. After half an hour I started getting a bit worried and there was no signal for 4G to call anyone. We were worried it might have been called off because the weather was so bad but eventually we heard hooves coming around the corner. I can hear them. I can smell them. We climbed on board and set off on our real ale trail, which meant just going down the road to the Ruggleston Inn and having a pint. Thank you. 
arrived at the Ruggleston Inn, which is one of my favourite pubs. It's what I call like a proper old country pub. And you'll see what I mean by the guests that we had to share our table with. It's the, it's, um, the waiter. <laughs> We'd like to order, please. On them Hello. Hello. <laughs> I was talking. How are you? <laughs> the chicken is in here. The chicken thinks it's warm. The chicken's like, oh, I think it's warm. Hello. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh no, here comes our boys. Let's duck here. How do you do? So is that one that had then? Yeah. There's no room for you here. I'll tell you. No. I'm glad we sat here. It's all funny you two would jump stop the corner. <laughs> oh, let him loose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, that was a chicken. I thought that was a chicken. <laughs> what are you doing? After our drinks, we hopped back onto the carriage and continued our journey across the moors. For anyone interested in doing the same experience, it's run by a company called Devonshire Carriages. You can find them on Facebook. They offer lots of different experiences. We did the Real Ale Trail, which was £120. Um, you could take six people and well-behaved dogs. Um, the experience lasted probably about 90 minutes and that included stopping for a drink. But they do all different experiences, such as I think like the Haunted Tales. Um, they do Shire Horse experience, all sorts. So go and check them out on Facebook. Oh. I think this must be the most beautiful way to see the moors. Yeah, I think we all wish that. Oh, look at that view. Yeah, it's just a the views are absolutely incredible. I'm glad it's not so misty. They're so big, aren't they? <laughs> How old are they? Um, so, Sophia is 12 and Ben's 15 now. Oh, yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're about 18 hammers big. Oh. Is it, is it Anna? Yeah. Put the two together. If you want, you put the two together. And then you can give that one to Ben. Oh, yeah. Oh, mm. Mm. The rock has got quite big teeth now. So, if I... Oh, have you got it? Have got it? Aww. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our ride around Widdicombe. Although it's a little on the pricey side, I really do recommend it. It's well worth the money because it's just the best way to see the views on the moors. It's such a unique experience. So thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already then please do subscribe for regular uploads.